here. Today we're baking Christmas cookies. I've got everything we need. We've got sprinkles, our cookie cutters, our very festive spatulas, a measuring cups, and our mixer. So let's start baking some festive Christmas sugar cookies. Did you say Halloween cookies? No, she said cookies from the Wizard of Oz. Green witch cookies. I did it and she said Halloween cookies. Oh boy, oh boy, I'm so happy. Can I help with the Halloween cookies? Uh, actually, it's Christmas cookies. Oh, why not Halloween cookies? Because it's not Halloween anymore? And why not Wizard of Oz cookies? Wicked witch themed cookies. Hmm, good idea, but for now, how about we stick to those Christmas cookies? Oh, okay. All right, we're gonna add two sticks of butter into the mixer. I've cubed them up. Oh yeah, and I do wanna say, if you guys are making this at home, please do it with a grown-up, because when you're baking, sometimes you need to chop stuff up and the oven is super hot. You need to bake in the oven. So definitely do it with a grown-up, and plus it's fun. It's kinda like a family activity, especially when you're baking Christmas cookies. Now I'm gonna add one cup of granulated sugar. And now is the fun part where we mix them up. And <laughs> we've got so much butter and sugar stuck in our whisk, but that's okay. It's gonna be mixed in later. Now I'm gonna add two eggs, making sure not to get the shells in there. Definitely get the help of a grown up if you're doing it yourself at home. All right, eggs in, time to mix again. Alrighty then, now I'm gonna add 3 fourths cup of cornstarch. And a little bit of paint. Um, those are cookies we're baking. Oh, I thought we were making a work of art. Well, sometimes baking can be a work of art, but you definitely don't want to put paint in it. Oh, okay. Where can I watch? Sure. Here comes the flour. We're gonna do four cups of that. Here's a funny ingredient. We're gonna need to add some salt. 3 fourths teaspoon salt to be exact. And since I don't have a 3 fourths teaspoon measuring cup, I'm gonna use 1 fourth teaspoon and half a teaspoon and that equals 3 fourths. There's some baking math for you kiddos. Here's half a teaspoon and 1 fourth teaspoon. We're also gonna need 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract and and that's about it. That's just gonna give it a nice sugar cookie vanilla-y taste. For this part, I'm gonna change my little whisk piece. And I'm gonna need this paddle attachment. Since our cookie mix is gonna be really dry, this will help us mix it better. All right, now our cookie dough is where we want it. Let's roll it out and start cutting out some cookies. I'm gonna roll out the cookie dough into a ball. I'm gonna put some flour on my rolling surface. That way my cookie dough won't stick to my mat. I'm gonna try not to make it too thick or too thin, just the right amount of thickness. And let's check out those cookie cutters. We've got a Christmas tree, candy cane, a gingerbread girl, gingerbread man, snowman, a gingerbread house, a bell, a reindeer, mitten, and stocking, a star, and a snowflake. First, I wanna do a Christmas tree. Make sure we press down real nice, and voila, there it goes. Maybe we can get a reindeer. Try to fit it in here. There you go. And I think we can fit a stocking in here. Now once we lift up the other pieces very carefully, we've got our cookies. Not bad. All right, time to roll out some more. And now we should be able to roll it out a little bit. Oh, it's not looking too good. All right, let's make some more. Ooh, this rolled out real nice. We can fit a lot more cookies on this round. I wanna do a candy cane this round. I love candy canes, especially a peppermint flavor. 
It's just something about it. It's so festive. We've got our little snowman. Let's get one of him on here. We can also fit one of our mitts on here. Let's see, what else can we fit on here? Can we fit another candy cane? Let's see, can we do it this way? Let's maneuver these cookies around. Maybe we can fit more on here. Think we can do this one. Ooh, just barely missed the other candy cane, but we did it. Lift up the rest of our cookie dough. No! Our candy cane just broke apart. Let's see if we can save it. Let's do some patchwork on our cookie. Maybe we can kind of fuse it together before we bake. Okay, we've got all of our cookies on the cookie sheet and now it's time to bake them. I'm gonna bake them for about nine to 12 minutes. So let's see how they pan out. Hey, so we're back and we've got some sugar cookies. Ooh, this is hot so I better make sure not to get my fingers on it. All right, so these did turn out really well and I think we pretty much managed to save that little cookie. They didn't spread, so that is perfect. Let's get these cookies onto something a little more festive. Oh yeah, we've got our snowflake platter and we're ready to get some frosting on here. I've got some white, red, green, and black royal icing, basic Christmas colors in little squeezy bottles and we're gonna start decorating these. For Rudolph, he definitely has a red nose. Let's put a red nose for him. And maybe we can give him a cute little face. And we can also make him extra festive. I'm gonna add some green on here too. And we can also give him an ugly Christmas sweater. I love ugly Christmas sweaters. I don't think they're ugly at all, but that's the name that they're given. Poor little Christmas sweaters. Oh, and now's the perfect time we can use our Christmas sprinkles. I think I wanna use these for his sweater. Let's see how that turns out. Oh, it's looking very festive. Oh no, they're going everywhere. But there is a Rudolph's ugly Christmas sweater and he is done. Next, let's try the gingerbread man. Let's add some white to our gingerbread man. I'm gonna use red for his buttons. And he's good! How about our candy cane? Our jolly jolly candy cane. Let's get some white on here first. You said no paint. Mmm, that's royal icing splatters. Oh, you can eat while you're icing? Yep, but not paint. Oh, okay. It looks really yummy. Okay, anywho, I'm gonna let you get back to the cookies. Bye. Silly splatters. Maybe I can get some of this red sprinkle on there without getting it on the white part. Let's make some way for ourselves in here. Ooh, that's a little bit on the white part, but that's okay. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, so we gotta wait for the white to, you know, dry up a little bit before we go in with another layer of red, and that will act as our glue for our sprinkles. Okay, yay, it's dried up. Now we can put some more red and uh, get those sprinkles on there. And let's tap it out. Oh, it's still stuck to the white parts, what? Maybe we can just fan it off. Oh no, time for our Christmas toy.
Okay, let's see who our next victim is. I think we should do Frosty the Snowman. Hello, Frosty. Welcome to the operating table. Now, how about that stocking? Let's add a little border around our stocking. Now, what are you guys hoping to get inside your stockings this Christmas? I know there's plenty of cool stocking stuffers everywhere out right now. last cookie is another candy cane. We're just going to do the same thing. All right, so there are our festive Christmas cookies. They turned out pretty good and they were super fun to make. And of course, I have got one of Santa's little helpers who's ready to try one of these cookies out. Cupcake Junior, which one of these yummy sugar cookies do you want to try out? I want to try the Christmas tree. Mmm, it's delicious. Can I have a cookie too? Sure, looks like we've got another of Santa's little helpers. Oh, I'm Santa's little helper? If you want to be. Yeah, 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 I love being Santa's little helper. I want to try. Rudolph's cookie. The cookie is bigger than me. <laughs> well, it's the end of our show. I hope you guys enjoyed baking these Christmas sugar cookies with me. Let me know in the comment section if you're going to be baking any this Christmas season. It's the most fun and festive activity to do with your friends and loved ones. So let me know in the comment section and I will see you there. Bye for now. <laughs>